Hey guys, this is Dave, financial manager for Cables Assisted Living. Bump that, we'll get that edited. Anyways, I just wanna thank you guys for doing such an amazing job because you guys are awesome. You guys are amazing at what you do every day. Every day you go in with a smile, with respect, with happiness, and let's go get them. I love that about you guys. So keep it up because I in the office, sitting in front of my computer, don't get to see that at all, all that much. And I know you guys have to have that every day to have that great happiness, the jovial attitude, the I love being here. And you guys do. For the most part, everyone does. It's great. I just want to thank you guys for being who you are and don't stop it. Be who you are and do what you do, which is the best job in the world, helping elderly people, because that is great. And don't you ever think that your job doesn't mean anything, because it does. So you administrators, you caregivers, you med techs, you're the cooks, the cleaning people, every one of you, you have a vital part for our company. And I just want to thank you so much for doing what you do. Keep it up, you guys, Rock! Hi, my name is Caroline Sorensen. I'm the Director of Operations for Gables Assisted Living. I just wanted to take a minute to thank each one of you in the company for everything that you do for our residents. I know that our jobs are very taxing. They are very rewarding at the same time. Um, during the pandemic, it has been very hard. Um, our days have been very, very long and um, the caregivers have had to go above and beyond to provide extra care for our residents emotionally um, where they haven't been able to see their families. Um, our maintenance department, they, I absolutely love our maintenance department. They keep our world going. Um, Gables would not be able to function without them. I, our administrative team, like each one of you, means so much to me. Um, I appreciate you guys so, so, so much. Um, you guys carry a huge weight on your shoulders every single day. Not only do you take care of our residents, but you take care of our staff and our resident families. And I know from my experience, being in a building, that is very hard. And the pandemic, I know, has made it extra heavy for each one of you. And I personally, like, I appreciate you guys so, so, so much for everything that you do. I appreciate your staff for the extra love that they give our residents, um, activities, and the way that you represent um, in our communities. Again, thank you so, so, so much. Hey everybody, this is Mike Robbins with the Gables Assisted Living. Um, the longest day of the year is coming up and we just wanted to put a little message out to thank everybody for everything they do for all of our uh, community members that suffer for uh, with some sort of Alzheimer's and dementia. Um, we greatly appreciate all of our caregivers. We know that all of you go above and beyond and we're lucky to have you as part of the team. So thank you for everything. I hope you all have a wonderful longest day of the year and be safe. Hey team, I just wanted to jump on real quick. Tell you all thank you so much for everything you guys do for our residents. Hands down, your guys' job is much harder than mine. Every single day, you guys are living the longest day that we are getting ready to celebrate. You guys make such a big difference in everyone's life. And with this pandemic that's been going on, um, I haven't been able to come into the buildings like we'd like to. Everyone has been on lockdown. We haven't been able to, to be that present part, but you guys have stepped up. You guys have been able to be that present part. Um, Family members can't come in, so you guys have stepped up. You've started FaceTiming with loved ones outside the buildings. You guys have done so much. You guys have went over and above what you guys were hired for. And we just can't thank you enough for everything that you guys do every single day. I stepped into one of the buildings for the first time in uh, probably 45 days. And as I wore my mask, I wore it the whole time. And I did it for three solid days while I was in there. I was so amazed at what you guys and how serious everything is to you guys when you're in those buildings. You guys are really truly trying to protect our, our residents, 
uh, you know, to the very best that you guys can. But seriously, guys, my ears are still bruised. I am like, and I honestly went in and I haven't been in for two days. I can still feel the bruising on my ears. I just, my, I just want to tell you guys, thank you so much. Thank you for making such a big difference in our resident's life every single day. And to many others that are around you, to your coworkers, every part for the, the positive attitudes you guys have had, because this has not been easy. So thank you so much. Thanks for all you do.